Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Silent Hunter 5. Here we are with U77 doing wonderfully well in the um, Monsoon Group A. Uh, yes, so we're, we're back. We're just about heading up um, up north here past um, Sri Lanka. Uh, we just dived down because we, there was an air patrol going over. Surprise, surprise. Uh, but this is this is our task for today, to try and get inside this, uh, this area and start scoring some kills. So we're coming up here. Uh, we've got a number of ports along the way, so you'd expect there to be a lot of coastal shipping moving around here, between port and port, and all the way up there into India. So um, yeah, so yeah, I'm I'm fairly hopeful that we should run into uh, a number of ships today. Uh, quick stock check of where we are. We got obviously four steam loaded in the front. We got a steamer. We got an electric reserve. Outside we have um, a 98 <laughs> percent. Uh, Unloading 98% of uh, a steam torpedo. That kind of bugged. I don't know why that gets bugged. Uh, we've got two steam in the rear. And that is a... Hang on a tick. I thought I... Oh no, these, are, these, these aren't steam. Sorry, you can see the gold... Um... The the gold um, propeller on it, yeah. These are the passive acoustic homing. I thought I thought we bought some specialist torpedoes for the rear. Yeah, we did. We did. Don't worry. Don't fear. I'm going slightly mad. Right. So uh, yeah, we're just that's the, the aim of the game. Uh, as soon as this aircraft clears out, we're going to be surfacing again. Try and make some um, some distance on the surface. Uh, try and get that torpedo inside. It's probably not going to happen, <laughs> but we'll do our best uh, and we'll press on. So I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone! Right, we've uh, we got a little bit of action possibly coming up. There we go. We've spotted some ships on the horizon. So, all the binoculars. There we go. Smoke on the horizon. And if you, you might not be able to see it, there's faint smoke. There's a ship there. There's a ship there. There's a ship there. I think we found a convoy. Yes, there's numerous ships over there, and that's got a two funnel. So that's probably a destroyer right there. Um, yes, so what we're doing, we are, there's the destroyer there, uh, we're tracking the ships, oh look at them, there's quite a big convoy as well, so let's just um, do a rough plot of their, the course they'll be taking, which is about there, um, obviously we need to try and get ahead of them, so we're looking at probably about, oh, oh hang on. I'll just hit that by mistake. Uh, so we want to be going like uh, that. Um, get back on course. To course. Uh, we're outside of their visual range, so let's. Uh, we're going full speed ahead, and that is the course we're going to try and get ahead of them on. Um, we may need to go a little bit further than that. Uh, the thing you don't want them to do, they do, you don't want them to be coming out of here, then turning north, because then we we'll lose them. Um, but yeah, if we, we blat ahead of them and try and set up an ambush somewhere around about here. Oh wow, so a thousand, which I usually set the circle at, is is there. It's tiny. Um, so let's go flank speed. speed ahead. We'll try and get ahead of them. We'll keep an eye on them as well. And then uh, we may need to extend that run a little bit before we... Uh, turn in to set up our ambush and obviously uh, dive to periscope depth um, torpedoes are loaded and that one's not going to come in anytime soon so we're going to press on and uh, hopefully when I join me back we'll be um, setting up for the uh, plotting and attacking so I'll see you in a few Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, um, we have sort of set ourselves out. Where are we? Let's just um, risk the periscope coming up. So they'll be coming over from our sort of 90 degrees. There they are. 
Right, so 90 degrees over there, we have, I think, the destroyer. Yeah, she's, she's coming at us, and then we've got the ships there. So I think the plan of action, there's another, is that another destroyer? Or, no, there's another destroyer. Plan of action is to um, get some shots off, because you can see this one's going to literally steamroller us. Um, I can only see one ship at the moment, so we might as well target that. That's because we've got we've been covered in a wave. That's why. There we go. So I'm guessing. Let's have a look. Now here they go. They're all popping in now. Let's target this one. Um, <clears throat> let's look on that. This is now tracking, which is great. It looks like a tanker. It's an Legion Bolt cargo freighter. Brilliant. Just as I said. <laughs> great. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Uh, what we can do then is get me old calculation imaging up. And we can do the speed test. Go. Let me bring this up. We, we can have a look at... Um, Medium bulk. Great, he's gone off. So there he is. Um, medium bulk. I'm trying to look at a dozen things at once at the moment. There. Um, so we need to find out what his. Medium bulk, medium bulk. Uh, I probably got skipped past it already when I was trying to do too many things at once. Probably. Oh, crap, there's a lot of ships. Let's lock on to him. Medium, where the hell? Medium bulk cargo freighter. There we go. Finally. Right. His length is 110. So we'll be using the... Uh, the orange one, I guess. So he's doing six knots. Cool. Thank you. Right. So we know... Uh, speed we're going to do to six knots. Boop. Excellent. Um... Range of this one, obviously, I need to dive as soon as this guy starts contact, coming. Merchant, moving fast, closing, range is 41, long going range. to be 2200. Might as well just type that in there. 2250, we'll say. Give it a little bit more. Angle of bow. Let's just target him. Ah. Oh. There go. Angle of bow will be uh you get seven in a second. Forty one. Beautiful. Good. And we got him locked in. Right, then we've got, probably we'll target this one because that looks like another bulk um, freighter. It is. Bearing is obviously going to be calculated. Range is going to be about the same because it's following in pursuit. That will be the same. Angle of bow. Um, we could probably calculate that as well. Because I think that stays with it, doesn't it? It's the uh, it's the range that doesn't carry over, and that's thirty four, thirty five. Perfect, perfect. Yes, happy. Right. So we've got those two locked in. Um. Now, it's a bit choppy. What do we have there? What is that? Is that the one I was looking at? No, it wasn't actually. 
What's that? Can we see that one? We for some reason we can't see these ones in front of us. That's annoying. Yeah, we don't we don't seem to be able to get visibility of those. Because I wouldn't mind having a forward shot at one of those. Alright, we lock onto that one. What is that? That is a North Sands type large freighter. 34 degrees. Range is going to be a little bit more. Um, well, yeah, I suppose we need to fire at that one first, won't we? So range for that one will be approximately 3,200 meters. Uh, so we go range 3,200, member 2250. We'll need that for the other two. Speed 6 knots, yes it is. And angle of bow is going to be... New contact, warship, moving fast, closing, bearing, 35, long range. Uh, it's going to be that, and that's, what's that? That is 55, 56, perfect. Right, so we'll get torpedo way at North Sands, and then I think, ooh, so the North, oh, hang on, we're losing um, contact with them all the time. So I think we're going to have a shot at these three. Now, um, what is the, they are 3,500. And this one, sorry, this one, Target. North Sands. Seeing which one's likely to be the heaviest. If we can find it, oh my goodness, so many ships. Bloody hell. Ah, gone straight past it. Uh, 7,000. So, yes, we'll have a pop at the North Sands, definitely. Right. Tracking new target. Uh, this is almost ready to fire. We're a bit choppy, so we'll go reasonably at a reasonable depth. Flood that. We'll go, that can go fast. That can be medium, actually, an impact. Tube 2. Medium. Tube 3, I want fast, and tube 4, I want fast. Right. How are we doing with that ship coming onto us? Uh, she's almost there. So we're not going to be firing in the most um, perfect position. I'll be firing early. Just so we can give ourselves a sporting chance. Locked on that one. Right. Uh, so this is flooded. Go back there. Um, yeah. Medium speed should be good, and then we can fire at these at fast and medium, which so we can fire our torpedoes and then get away. Dive under the convoy. What's the range? Depth here should be okay. Perfect. Right, I may fire a little early on this one. Let's just double check the calculations. The so range to it's going to be about there. It's about three thousand. Okay. Uh, angle about is currently. Oh my God! Where are you? Forty-nine, forty-eight, forty-nine. Uh, is that right? Or is that 69? 60, oh, 67. Okay. 
Let's drop that down to 69 at the moment. Ah, oh, no! No, 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 no. 69, heaven. There we go. And range is going to be a little bit shorter. Right, tube one. Stand by. Fire. Right, so this one here. Let's target that. Um, range is going to be... 2,250, yep. And current angle of bow... will be 65. 65 per, per, perfect, and that's going to be 2250. Perfect. Right, that torpedo is away. So tube 2. Um, these are quite shallow, so they uh, yeah, shallow keel, so they go quite quickly. Flood 2. Flooding tube 2. Flood these actually. Right, lost lock. Flooding tube four. The Pavesa. Closing tube three. The Kavos. Flooding tube three. The Pavesa. Target mark. And I'm gonna fire two torpedoes here. Tube two. And that one can fire there. Now this one back here, we're going to lock on. This is going to be tube four. New contact, warship moving fast, moving away, bearing twenty six, long range. Move that up a bit. Torpedo depth set to one. Right, that torpedo is getting close to that ship. Well, I want to be diving by the time we. Target mark. So I'm going to fire early. Fire. Right. Um, let's dive. Hi everyone, right, we got three torpedo detonations. Um, I'm guessing that fourth torpedo is. Uh, that was just a kind of a, a bank. Yeah, we need to be going down a little bit quicker than this, boys. Let's risk a little bit more noise. Because I can hear the destroyer's engines are literally on top of us, right? Uh, flank speed, crash dive. Um, we're just not sinking quick enough, and he's coming straight for us. We need to get down, we need to get down, we need to get down. You can hear the engine of the ship right on top of us. If he dropped, right. You're going to go hard to port, because if he drops depth charges, we're dead. We go in the straight line. Moving slow, moving away. Bearing thirty-six. Long range. Depth five zero. 
vidas. Right, we're just straightening up. Fortunately, he couldn't turn tight enough to get on top of us. So, we've got a little bit more time now to dive down. I'll head this way a little bit. Uh, we're coming past 70 meters now, which is good. Uh, we need to go quieted a bit. I want to get into the yellow before we go quiet, though. That, to that fourth torpedo missed, which is... Uh, that's fine. Three out of four ain't bad, as uh, Meatloaf used to sing. Or was that two out of three ain't bad? No, well, it's close enough. You know what I mean. Right, let's slow down to... As we're not silent running, let's get those torpedoes loaded. Uh, you never know when we might need that. Oh, yeah, we're right in the middle of the two destroyers are coming to play. Good, we need to get really deep. Now, I'm going to try and hover around the 165. Uh, if I get to 170, then as we saw last time, our hydrophone crushes under the pressure. So... Yeah, we're going to um, uh, try and dodge that. Right. So one thing we will do, let's sort of head this way. Um, because the convoy is going this way. Um, so if we head towards the convoy at this point, um, we're never going to get away from these destroyers. So this is where you have to try and break contact with the convoy. And hope uh, the destroyers get bored and head off. Okay, any... Oh, there we go. The North Sands type large freighter has sunk for 7,075. Uh, Sorry, 7,175. And we also had a merchant... Uh, the bulk... The medium bulk cargo freighter. Sorry, I'm listening to what he's saying at the same time. For 3,641. The other impact has not sunk the ship as yet. So currently we're at four ships sunk, 20,858 tons. Noise. <laughs> Warship moving slow, constant distance, bearing two, five, zero, short range. Depth charge is going off. We're still diving. He's blinking in and out of existence. He's nervous. It's fine. Coming down to 140 meters now. Okay, let's slow it down a bit more. Oh, that's close. That is incredibly close. Right up front. Oh my goodness. If we'd have been... Crikey. Right. Uh, we need to go deeper. Keep going down, guys. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Gonna go quiet. Oh. Let's go silent running. Torpedo's not quite loaded, but... Okay, we're coming past 160 meters now. Now I'm going to try and stay around about here. And we'll go quiet. Because 
as I said earlier, I don't want to go into the red and potentially crush our um, hydrophone. We just had it repaired, for heaven's sake. So we're going to hopefully sit here, and we are a quiet enough spot which they can't find us. We're running silent running. Okay, so far so good. We are holding at 160 meters. Um, I'm not sure why it's uh, this hatch is open, considering it's battle stations. What? Hang on a minute. We got battle stations, but there we go. <laughs> it's very casual battle stations where they left all the. I mean, hatches open. Um, you look surprised. What happened? Okay. Um, he never believed in the U-boat. Anyway. Okay, no, okay, like, that's fine. Do you feel better about your brother now? Yes, Captain. In part because of what you said to me. At night, I actually feel him watching over me. And I see how proud he is of me. Of course he is. Yeah, there we go. His morale's gone up. Brilliant. Right, what about Benoth? How you feeling, Bello? They're whispering, I'd like to think, because we're in... Um... You're doing great, Benno. That's fine. His, his morale's gone up. Good. Dieter? Stop reporting contacts for 20 minutes. Oh, that would be lovely. Dieter, just shut the hell up for 20 minutes and leave me alone. <laughs> I love that command. That's brilliant. Uh, you look concerned. What's on your mind? You look worried. What's on your mind? Oh, I asked him that last time, it just stressed him out, didn't it? So, we'll leave them to it. Good. Uh, Emil, do you ever want to say anything? Keep up the good work. He's not one of. He's not one for words. Chief, why don't you take a break? Uh, just ease yourself, Joseph. Yeah, I just have to be easy on myself. Like it was me who told her to stay in the city and get buried under piles of debris. Oh, now, now you, now they heard you. You go mad if you keep doing this. I think the whole world has gone mad. Okay. I feel as though I'm the only one who's sane. It's Nothing more to say. Okay. Okay. I'm glad I asked. Um, his morale's decreased, unsurprisingly. Uh oh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. Um, I'm going to risk staying at this depth, even though they're pretty much nailed, well, not nailed onto us, but it's very close. It's just above us and just off to the uh, to starboard. So. No more talking. No more shouting, Yosef. You almost gave our position away then. XO. Yes, Captain. Nothing. So have a word with the boats and see if we can calm the men or something. Cruise to bunks. We have to save oxygen. That's a cool one. Are you looking concerned? What's on your mind? Ah, uh, it's a big question. Yes. Know the poem, Herbert? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
Are you okay there, sailor? Good. Looks like they've given him some laudanum to calm him down. <laughs> right. How are we doing? There. Okay, we're doing okay. Maybe we can um, make a run. Right, staying quiet. New contact, merchant, moving fast, moving away, bearing seven, long range. Hard to port. Hard to port. Let's get going. We're not going to go full speed. Silent death is just drifting down towards us. We don't know where it is. This is a horrible feeling. Okay. Run of midships. Silent running. Once those depth charges calm down, and it, you know, I'm talking about the uh, rate, the hydrophone detection sensors on the destroyers. Once the actual water calms down and the noise calms down after the um, depth charge run, I hope if we go quiet, what you you're not coming in now, are you? Or they won't be able to detect us. I really want to go into the red, but I don't want to lose my hydrophone. Ah, choices, choices, choices. Oh no, not again. Oh, who's coming in? Is it? Sugar. Hard to port. That rocked us. Oh, sugar. Okay, we got we took damage. Or oh, what do we lose? Uh, stern drive plane, structural integrity. Flooding zone control. Wow, that was close. Came right over the top of us. Right, let's launch decoys. Flooding is under control. Right, with decoys released, let's um let's get some distance. Flooding is under control. Apparently flooding is under control, which is good to hear. Uh, I think that's probably flicking between 1 and 0%, is it? Is under no, it's not actually. Is under okay, let's have a look. Okay, we got a hissing, more hissing there. How are we doing in here, boys? Not too bad. Okay. I think it's time we might need to go deep and uh, do without the hydrophone. Uh, 
Oh my goodness me. The pressures of being a captain, eh? God, that's close. Yeah, the ship engine right there. Is that somebody going over top of us? Oh, it is. And t depth charge is being dropped right on top of us. Ah, sugar. Oh, we've got a bit of a... Bro oh, has that one cleared off? One destroyer may have disengaged, which is... Well, I suppose it's okay, but... Um, going back to the Meatloaf song, two out of three are still here. Um, I don't know why I'm getting Meatloaf references in today. I have no idea. Right, which way is this one going? Is he coming towards us? Usually when that starts to increase, it means that they are coming facing you. So I'm guessing he's turning into us. And obviously when they go smaller, it's when they're going away. I oh, know he's going that way. Okay. He is turning, but he's going that way. Obviously because it reduces because obviously back to us is um, their engine noise is also interfering. How are we doing with those repairs, Chief? That's what's it? The uh, known as the hydroplane. This control surface allows submarine to a degree of control over its pitch and depth. Okay, it's the the rear one we've lost. Okay, it's not much we can be able to do that underwater to repair any of that. Um, everything's taken a bit of a battering, but you know, that wasn't a hit. That was a that was a near miss, and that's what a near miss kind of damage does. If if it got to the point where, you know, the explosion itself, within a few meters of the, the, the actual boat, then you'd have seen a lot more uh, damaged systems, as in red and destroyed systems, rather than just um, damage. That's just the pressure wave, isn't it, causing us damage. New contact. Merchant moving fast. Okay, moving away. how are we Heading doing? Six, five. Long range. Uh, we're holding our own for the time being. New contact, merchant. Hi everyone, those two destroyers are moving away, finally. Well done everyone, well done. Um, I think the worst is over, so um, we're going to stay at silent running and a little bit quieter and action stations for a little bit longer. We're going to stay down here for a little while as well, uh, but then after about 20 minutes we'll, um, we'll start coming up to the surface, obviously we'll eventually surface once they're clear of us. And uh, we'll go on our merry way. So, <sighs> phew -wee. That was um, a bit of a nerve wracker, to be honest with you. Um, I was, <laughs> there were some very close calls in that. And the fact that we took quite a bit of, well, quite substantial damage. We're starting to bring it back into um, working order, though. So, did that fifth one? No, that, that torpedo impact didn't sink that third ship, which was a bit of a shame. But never mind. Never mind. Two ships sunk. Um, 20,000 tons in the kitty. It's all looking pretty good. So we're going to leave it there for this week. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Been a bit of a tense time this week. Uh, down at 160 metres. But um, we survived. And uh, we lived to fight another day. And we'll be doing that next week. So as always, show support for the channel by hitting that thumbs up. Share on social media to support the series. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe and tickle the bell. 
Take care. Myself and crew of U77, we'll see you next time.